What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Victor Vikhurst versus Iago Kaladzidi and this is going to be an 8 rounder in the heavyweight division and this fight is going to be Saturday January 1st from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida and this fight is going to be broadcasted on Fox Pay-Per-View and to get both fighters' resumes, Victor Vikers, fighting out of the Ukraine, holds a record of 8 wins, no defeats with 6 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 59 by BoxRec in the heavyweight division. And to list some of his best victories, he has a knockout win over Jakub Staglam, a unanimous decision victory over Kamil Sokolowski, and he has a knockout win over Mike Marshall. And to get his opponent's resume, Iago Kaladzidi fighting out of Georgia, Holds a record of 27 wins, 5 defeats, and 1 draw, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 78 by BoxRec in the heavyweight division. And to list all of his defeats, he has a knockout loss to Yuri Kayembre Kalagenda, a knockout loss to Adam Kovnatsky, a knockout loss to Michael Hunter, a knockout loss to Joe Joyce, and a knockout loss to F.A. Ajagba. And to list his one and only draw, it came by split decision against Cuban heavyweight Robert Alfonso. And to list some of his best victories, he has a knockout win over Pedro Julio Rodriguez and a knockout win over Matthew McKinney. And in my opinion, this fight is going to go easily in favor of the up-and-coming undefeated Ukrainian heavyweight, Victor Vikhurst. I mean, Vikhurst, I mean, from what I've seen... He's very powerful, very well skilled, well balanced fighter, and I mean he's very, um, very experienced. I mean in the amateurs he had a lot of fights, fought in the World Series of Boxing, and um, yeah, he's just a very um experienced fighter just overall. But you have to remember amateur fights are only three rounds. But here, I mean, he's definitely stepping up a bit, um, taking on Kaladzidi. Kaladzidi, I mean, he's a fighter who's been around. I mean, been at cruiserweight, been at heavyweight. He's fought a lot of very good fighters. I mean, all of his losses are two very good fighters. Um, even at cruiserweight when he lost to Kalenga, he, that's still a very good fighter. And, um, I mean, I mean, w from what you heard from when I listed his losses at heavyweight, I mean, he's fought all of these guys, Kovnatsky, Hunter, Joyce, Ajagba, and he's won some rounds with all of them. I mean, I believe he won, like, five with Kaunaki, like, five with Hunter, like, five with Joyce. Like, he won, like, five or six rounds with, like, all of them, I believe so, somewhere around there. So, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he normally goes round, a bit of rounds with them before getting stopped, and I think the same is going to happen here. I just think that Vikers is just going to be too strong, like all of Iago Kalazidi's other losses. Kalazidi not known for having the best chin, and, I mean, Vikers' power. So, I mean, when those two things, mi when those, when those two things mix, mix um, it doesn't really end up well for the guy with the bad chin. So, I think that... Victor Vikers will get a stoppage win here. And comment down below your thoughts on this fight. I mean, this fight is really just going to be a showcase um, for Victor Vikers in his um, first pay-per-view fight card. And um, he's the opener on pay-per-view. His last fight on October 9th was against Mike Marshall, but that wasn't on the pay-per-view section of the Fury Wilder 3 um, card. So, I mean, now finally getting to showcase his talents on pay-per-view in the United States, and I think he's going to really show the heavyweight division and the world who he is um, as a heavyweight. Um, he was good in the amateurs, now looking good in the professional ranks, and I think he's going to get the best victory of his career thus far here, and I think he's going to stop um, Iago Kalatidi, like many other um, prospects and contenders have done to him. So how do how could this fight end up? Or just breaking down the fight, actually. I mean, I just think that Kalazidi will be off the back foot, and I think that Vikers will be coming forward, just like many of um, Kalazidi's other fights, where he's just on the back foot getting hit a lot. So I think that's going to happen. I mean, Kalazidi has scored some shock knockdowns before off the back foot. I mean, he dropped F.A. Ajago for the first time in his career when he was hurt, but I don't think that's going to happen here. I mean, Vikers looks like he's got a good shin. I mean, who knows? That's what I thought with the jog, but then he got hit. So, I mean, anything happened. This is a heavyweight division. But I just think that Vikers, coming from that Ukrainian sort of Soviet school of boxing, whatever you want to call it, I mean, he's just a very strong, composed fighter. He's very smart in the ring. Um, he's got a good jab. And I believe he is a southpaw. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, that's just guessing from some of the fights I've seen. But, um, yeah, I mean, Vikers is just overall a very strong very good fighter, and, um, yeah, whether he's southpaw or orthodox, I just can't really remember, um, he's still, like, just an overall very good fighter, and I think he will develop into a decent heavyweight, maybe top 15 as the year go years goes on, top 10, who knows, I mean, he's really got a lot to prove, um, only his 
April fights done going into his ninth, and I think he's going to look pretty good in this performance on pay-per-view. And um, I think he's going to be the one coming forward, dictating the pace, landing his jab, laying his right hand, um, left or right hand, whatever. And um, I think he's going to just be landing more shots and just overall just dictating this fight and winning pretty easily up until, like, he drops Colossity, um, stops him standing, anything like that. Like, drops him multiple times, referee waves it off, a, a, a corner throwing in the towel, anything like that. Just overall, it'll just be a knockout or stoppage win for um, Victor Vikerst. And it will be a good one, in fact, and I think he will look very good on pay-per-view. And comment down below your thoughts on Victor Vikerst. Um, on him as a prospect, who you think he's going to fight in the near future, where you think he's going to go, champion, top contender, etc. Because I think he's going to go pretty far um, in this heavyweight division, and he's really just moving up fast now in his first pay-per-view card, um, fighting a decent fighter, and I think he's going to get the stoppage win. So overall, I believe that Victor Vikers will defeat Iago Kalazidi by knockout to get his ninth victory, seventh by knockout, and I believe that the stoppage will happen from rounds four to round eight. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.